I'm excited to talk about these Anchor batteries, and I'm not just talking about them, we're gonna give one of these away. So make sure you watch until the end and find out how you can enter. Hey there, I'm Thomas Lewis with Solar Reviews Labs. And like I said before, we have Anchor batteries. Let's go biggest to smallest and just talk about price because that's what everybody cares the most about. First, we have the 767, which is $2,000. Next, we have the 555, which is $899. And then we have the 521, which is $220. All of these can be found on sale at various points. Anchor's really good with their price points. But let's go biggest to smallest and get some details going. Let's start with the 767. All right, here it is, the 767 Portable Powerhouse. They also call it the Solix F2000. I think the Solix series is new. It was sent to us in conjunction with other powerhouse ones, so we're just calling it the powerhouse. I believe Solix just means it can be charged via solar, which this can, it's super cool, we'll get into that. Use cases for this guy are probably RV, home office, little off the grid stuff. You can't go crazy with it. I don't know if you could power a whole home or anything like that. It's a little overkill for the beach, but with these wheels on here, you could definitely take it and move it around. It's got tons of versatility. It was super fun. Ours is scuffed up a little bit because I literally just brought it with me everywhere for about a week and a half. We brought it to a video shoot that we did and we plugged all of our lights into this with zero problem. We were actually trying to find ways to get more power into it. I was charging my phone, iPad. This is definitely a great little tool to have in any filmmaker, any production thing you need to do like that. This is gonna be great. This was super cool for us to use. Let's get into all the cool ports and details that this thing has and then talk about the app a little bit. Let's talk about something that's right in the name, the portability. These wheels that it has on here, I believe are a little bit bigger than four inches. And I brought this thing with me everywhere for a full weekend. I brought it on grass, sand. We brought it through a concrete parking lot. If you have a worse wheel or a cheap wheel, you're gonna feel every little nook and cranny that you go over. I will say the one thing about the portability is this handle specifically, whoa, is kind of flimsy. I don't know if you see that, but it did hold up well. There was no issue to it. But there were times I thought that if I leaned on it too much, it would snap, which wasn't great. When I'm bringing around, you know, a big expensive piece like this, one of those things I want is I want to feel super confident in it. So it did pass every test I ran it through there, but it just didn't feel the greatest with that handle. But the wheels felt perfect. I was super happy with that. Let's talk about all the ports on here and we'll go this way to this way. First thing we have here is the DC output. And one thing I noticed in using this all weekend is this DC output is actually, if you see here, it's always on. So it's gonna wake up your device once it's plugged into that. But these guys over here, the four AC outputs, let's plug our anchor charger into that. If you plug it in here, it doesn't actually turn the phone on or wake it up at all. You have to remember every time you use this thing to turn on your AC outlet there. It kicks on really fast. There's no issue with that. And I will say after using it, I've had all of these things plugged in at one point. It never gets loud. It looks like it has a big giant fan in here, but it just doesn't. It was actually really usable, really quiet. There was no issue with it. We'll play a recording of it running right now, just so that way you can kind of get the sound. That's like really quiet for how much power you have. One of the things that I really loved about this guy too, all these ports here have three prongs. They have the ground port in there and they're facing the other direction. That's the kind of design detail that really matters when you're willing to spend $2,000 like that because if I had to put another one in here, sometimes these cords get bigger and bulkier and they hit each other and they don't fit. So it is cool that they have the grounded plug up top so that way you can really comfortably fit four things in there. One other tip on the front of these ports, make sure you turn these things off because if you leave them on, it's actually gonna be looking for the power. I just heard the actual click go off, which means that this thing is no longer running at all. So you're gonna save and conserve all your battery power that way. You know, one of the things a lot of people don't think about is how they're gonna charge the thing that charges their things. So this is nice because the power brick and everything is all built in here. So I don't need to carry a big heavy thing with me. I just need this wire. It plugs right into here and it charges so fast. I think I charged it maybe in half a day really, really quickly off of a wall outlet in my apartment. There's nothing super special, nothing crazy. It just went really, really fast. The solar input, which means you can actually get solar panels, plug it in here, charge this thing. Carbon emission free. It's great for an RV because if you're going to go RVing, odds are that you're going to be out there for a week, a couple of days. You're not going to be out there for a couple of hours. You're going to want a way to recharge this thing because it's actually going to be able to power everything you need it to. And this is the overcharge protection. Click that little button. It's nice, easy to have on there. Anchor just really cares about design, little design language, you could tell. This guy right here is for expanding it. So if you're going off grid or you wanna power a whole house, something like that, you can actually get a battery expansion and almost double the power this guy has, which will really suit any needs you might have. 
All right, so now we're on the add device screen. Let's hit add device. It's searching, it found it instantly, no problem at all. We're gonna hit 767, and I guess we'll just skip doing a sign up. It says to bring my phone closer to the device, so let's go ahead and move that over. Let's see, there we go, device added. Just needed to be a little bit closer, no big deal. All right, we'll just call it the 767 powerhouse. Again, we go back to that naming structure. They call it the 767 powerhouse. And there it is. I have all this great information on whether or not my thing's fully charged, how long it's gonna take. It's just a really cool app. I can also change the brightness of that light. I love this light. I wanna talk about it all the time. It actually is great use case, by the way, because when you turn all your power off or if you're at night, this thing gets very bright and lets you directly see underneath the panels here. So as you can see there, let's plug something into it. So that way we can test whether or not it shows up, how fast it shows up, etc. Let's plug this guy in into an AC port. We've got the AC input going. We're gonna turn that button on. And as you can see, right after turning it on, it instantly clicked, recognize that the AC is going, and starts telling you all about your remaining use time, which is really useful to have in this device right here. I'm only charging an iPhone right now, so I'm basically using no power. 24 watts is pretty normal, 22. This thing charges super fast. Other than that, let's switch, and let's see what happens if you put it into the DC input. And again, don't forget to turn this off because it's gonna be looking for something the whole time and you wanna conserve the battery as much as possible. When you go to DC input, you'll see here that it instantly recognized it again. No problem at all, this thing's super fast, super snappy. I love an app that works as it's supposed to use it because I'm so reliant on my phone now, I'm sure everybody else is. So when I do wanna actually use something and connect it, it's nice when it works. So that's pretty much it for the 767. I think it's great, great value, but we'll talk more about that later. We're gonna talk about the powerhouse. 555. All right, here we have the 555 powerhouse. This thing has 1,024 kilowatt hours and 1,000 watts. It's got all the plugs you would want, and what I really love about it, you can't even gauge in video. It's just how small and compact it actually is. This would super comfortably fit in the back seat of a car, trunk, anything you need. This can really be brought everywhere. It's not super heavy. It's really nice. It doesn't have the wheels, but it doesn't need to because it's really not that big of a device and the use casage for it is great. You can really bring this anywhere you need to. It can sit in an RV, plug in, things like that. It's not gonna run all your appliances, but it will more than comfortably charge your phone through a weekend, laptop. It can charge your drone like 30 times or something crazy like that. This is definitely a cool tool for anybody to have, and I wanna talk about the ports and everything that goes into it. All right, before we get into all the cool stuff the ports do, I do have to make a comment about one thing that I just don't understand why Anchor did it. If you zoom in really close here, you'll actually see that this fits enough room for a three-pronged device. But this right here is just a hole for the plug to go into. So when you plug it in there, it actually, it's super loose, it's not tight, it's not connected. I wouldn't feel super confident about plugging into this. It does have the room to have six different two-prong devices in it, but if you want a three-prong device in there, you can only fit three three-prong devices and three two-prong devices. Okay, so here we have 12 total ports with 1,364 watt total output. We have three USB-Cs, which is so great for charging your phone. That's the fastest way to do it. I'm actually glad they're phasing out lightning cables like that. And you've got your normal IQ USB-A, which is great for a little more outdated devices. People aren't really making devices with that USB anymore, but it is nice that they didn't age themselves out of it. And then you have your car socket right here. Again, this thing comes out as a little flimsy. I know, and I'm confident in saying, eventually, this is gonna snap, and then you're gonna have this whole thing be exposed to dirt, grime, anywhere you wanna bring it. It really lessens how well you can use this guy. Well, I don't think this thing can power an RV or a full off-grid house for a full weekend. What it can do is comfortably charge all your devices many times. You get 80 phone charges, 20 laptop charges, 30 drone charges, whatever you need. You can run a grill off this thing for 12 hours. So this is great for a day trip or something like that if you're just gonna pull it in and out. Well, it does have solar charging on the back, which gives you a little more flexibility. I just wouldn't expect to be able to run all your appliances for a full weekend off this, like you could with the 767. Where I do love this thing is in a car, a dorm room, something small or little like that, where you take advantage of the fact that you get a lot of power in its form factor. This is an ultimate backup device in my mind. If my power goes out, I'm using this thing with no problem. I can put a movie on for the kids, anything you need to. This is gonna be a great device for a house. It really is almost more like a tool just because of how much value you get in this tight form factor. While you don't have the Bluetooth app display, which was really nice and cool with the 767, this thing is more like you just keep it in a closet, keep it in the back of your car, and when you need it, it's there and it's reliable. I know I just ranted and raved about how cool and portable this thing was, but Anchor makes an even smaller one. They make a 521, which can basically fit in the palm of your hand. Let's get right to it. I'm not joking, this thing is seriously small. I'm not a strong guy, but this thing can literally fit in the palm of my hand, no problem. It still packs 
256 kilowatt hours, which makes it a cool enough thing to put into any apartment, house, storm, car that you need. And it's extra portability. It's just one of the extra nice things about it. Now let's talk about the ports. The 521 might look like it's missing a lot of things, but it's just a smaller, more compact version of the other two devices. It has that similar empty three prong thing in it that's really just for holding a piece of, the things aren't gonna fit in there too snug or anything like that. And you definitely can't fit two three prong devices in it at the same time. It does have the car socket, again, with maybe this flimsy flap on it, which I'm not a huge fan of. But what this does have, at the other ones don't, is really cool. I'm gonna show you. You can charge it just by this USB-C port right here. So all we're gonna do is plug it in, and it should charge just like that. It has this standard light that all of them have, which is actually really nice and useful. Every time I've used them, I've been trying to use them in a situation where I'm not in a super bright room. Obviously, I'm in a beautiful studio right now, but you're not always in that environment and you're gonna need this light. And it has power saving mode. What's cool about power saving mode is this device really recharges super fast. So if you need to get a little more longevity out of it, it's really easy just to flip power save mode on and it can last you much longer than it should. Anchor knocked this out of the park when they called it the powerhouse family because these things pack a ton of power. If you need to run all your appliances, this thing can keep you going all weekend. The 555 here is perfect for an emergency situation. If you wanna power your home, you can thrive through a blackout and it's still portable enough to fit in your car and give you power on the go. This thing would totally rock a beach day. And then you have the 521, which is the tiny little guy of the family, but it still has a lot of power. And one of the coolest things is that it can be charged via USB-C in no time. So this is a grab and go solution for those that are constantly on the run, perfect for a day out. All of these come with a five year warranty and a 10 year lifespan. So if you decide to make an investment in one, Anchor's got you covered. They're known for having one of the greatest warranties in all battery companies, and they stand by their products because I don't want to buy a product somebody doesn't stand by. But if you need any more information, my coworker Ben did a review on all these other batteries. You can check that video out here. All right, so now to get to the really good stuff. How do you win one of these things? It's really easy. All you have to do is be subscribed to Solar Reviews and comment which one of these you would use and why. And we're going to pick a winner at random. Anchor sent us these batteries to test out, and if you buy something from Anchor based on this review, we may receive a small commission, but they can't tell us what to say, and our opinions about them are based entirely on our own testing. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.